sa mga research na ginagawa sa analysis, mayroong tinatawag na degrees of freedom or DF. Ano nga ba itong degrees of freedom? Para ating maintindihan kung ano yung degrees of freedom, ay tingnan muna natin yung isang data analysis sa isang research. Salimbawa, yung study ay tungkol sa job performance of the three groups of employees in ABZ Manufacturing Corporation using job performance indicator. Tingnan natin itong descriptive table o data. Merong tatlong grupo, beginner, intermediate expert, ang bawat grupo ay merong 12 members, ang total ay 36. Pinapakita rito yung mean, mean ng beginner, mean ng intermediate, at saka expert. Kasama na pati yung standard deviation at saka yung standard error dito sa data natin. Ang grupo ay tatlo, ang total ay 36. Tingnan natin yung analysis of variance. Sa analysis of variance or ANOVA, tinatalakay dito yung tinatawag natin na source of variance. So sa ganitong klase ng analysis, meron tayong between groups, source of variance, within groups, source of variance, Tsaka total, makikita natin na may nakalagay dito na DF. Yung DF ay tinatawag natin na degrees of freedom. So, in between groups, mayroong dalawa, within groups 33, ang total 35. At ang sum of squares ay 97.63. Sa so, between groups, within groups, 299.33. So, add it, 396.96. Ang main square... 48.81 at ang sa between groups at ang within groups ay 9.0706 at ang if calculated values analysis variance ay 5.381 ang sig o p value ay 0.032 so yan po ang lumalabas sa ating ANOVA yung DF between groups Paano kinuha yun? Pero yung tatlong grupo, minus 1 equals 2. So within groups, total number of observations minus number of groups, 36 minus 3 is 33. Kaya ang total ay uh, 35, 33 plus 2. So ang DF dito, ibig sabihin, degrees of freedom. Paano nakuha yung sum of squares? Meron tayong formula na ginagamit dito upang makuha yung sum of squares pero pag tayo gumagamit ng space is automatically lumalabas ang value niyan yan ay kinukuha natin sa uh, isang mathematical system pero yung mean square ang ginagamit natin dito na divisor o operator ay division So, 97.63 divided by 2. Meron kang mean squared na 48.81. Yung 299.33 divided by 33, meron tayong 9.0706. At yung between groups divided by within groups sa mean squared, 48.81 divided by 9.0706, ang makakuha natin ay 5.381. And from that, we can calculate yung p-value at nakuha natin ay 0.032. Yan po ay sa paraan ng analysis of variance. So, ano nga ba ang degrees of freedom? Dahil ito ang topic natin, balikan natin yung tinatawag natin na uh, old concept, yun ating source, na ang sinasabi ay yun ang mga... Ang, mga numero ng independent values that a statistic analysis can estimate. You can also think of it as the number of independent information that are free to vary. So, yun yung keyword, yung free to vary. 
Yan ay uh, sinulat ni S.W. Walker noong 1940 pa. So, in general, the degrees of freedom called the sample size minus the number of parameters in the statistical cal calculation during an analysis. Medyo malabo pa rin. It is also a combination of how much data you have and how many parameters you need to calculate. So far, yan ang mga book, book definition o statistical concepts sa mga libro. Simplihan natin yung kung ano yung ibig sabihin yung basic idea ng Tinatawag natin na degrees of freedom. Alam ba, meron tayong Q and A contest at may walong participants at sila ay uupo sa walong upuan din. Ngayon, tinawag ng quizmaster yung participants one by one at sila ay mamimili ng kanilang upuan. So, let P participant, we have P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8 participants. So, yung walang participants ay pipili ng kanilang upuan. C1, 2, C6. So, let's continue. Pag tinawag yung P1, no, participant number 1, maaaring piliin niya ito na number 6. 2, C1, 3, C7, P4, selected C4, P5, C2, P6, C3, P7, selected chair number 8. So makikita natin, yung pito ay meron silang uh, freedom to select. Yung number 8, wala na. No choice. So makikita natin na uh, Yung participant number 8 has no other choice but kunin itong C5. So, he has no freedom to select since there is only one remaining choice. Sa statistics, yung n number of choices, n minus 1 is the only value where 1 can vary. This is the degree of freedom or DF. So, in the previous example, yung pito out of 8, Ito lang, has the option to select where to sit. The remaining one has no choice but to take the empty chair. So, ito ay represented as N-1 and this is the meaning of degree of freedom. It is the number of values that are free to vary in statistical calculation. So, in the example, ang degree of freedom natin is 8-1 minus is 7. May mga formula tayo sa pagkuha ng number of degrees of freedom. Ito ay mga established uh, procedures. Salva, independent, sample, status, paired sample, independent sample, chi-square, correlation, multiple regression, pati yung sa ANOVA. Sa 1B ANOVA, alimbawa, N is the total number of sample, Q is the number of treatments. So, we have uh, N minus Q for sample treatments and n is the total number of data uh, within group and in between group is k minus 1 so yan ang established formula so ang total niya is n minus 1 so makita natin dito sa summary ng sample one way ANOVA table ang degrees of freedom ay ginagamit siya na divisor so a minus K is uh, a divisor for within groups. Sapagkat ang if value ay yung result dito sa between groups divided by the result here in the uh, within groups. The degrees of freedom is the denominator in finding the MS value. Um, subsequently, it is used to obtain the if calculated value under a specified level of significance. Halimbawa, 
0.05 or 0.01. So, makita natin ang degree of freedom serves as a corrective factor in the computation. Suppose we have four treatments replicated five times. So, mayroong 20 yung total, yung sample size. Halimbawa, uh, nakuha natin yung between is, is, is 1.76 and within is 2.10. Under 0.05 alpha level significance test. So, ang tsura ng ano ba table ay ganito. So, there's variation. Sinabi natin, ang sum of the squares, 176 between treatments with N is 210. Therefore, the degrees of freedom between treatments will be 4 minus 1, 12 is 3. Within treatments is 20 minus 4, 16. So, ang total niyan ay 19. Now, let's compute the mean of squares. That will be 176 divided by 3. At ang within treatments is 210 divided by 16. So, para makuha ang calculated value, ang sagot dito, 58.67 divided by 13.13. At ang ating F value is 4.468. Notice that the dip numerator is in between and with treatments is the denominator. Yan ay importante sa pagkuha ng critical value sa F table. Tingnan natin yung alpha level niya, 0 0.05. Ang numerator ay 3 and denominator ay 16. Doon sa critical value for F distribution, na kukuha natin itong 3.329 dito sa table. So, ito yung denominator, 16. Ito naman ang numerator. So, makita natin ito yung critical if value na sinasabi natin. So, uh, if critical value is 3.239. Dito natin nakuha yan. The if value in ANOVA table is the calculated if statistic. Yung sa table, ang tawag doon ay critical value. So, an example natin ay uh, calculated 4.468, critical value 3.239. So, when we compare that, if calculated is greater than if critical value, meaning at 0 0.05 level of significance, the null hypothesis can be rejected. The p-value or seg must be also considered as determined by if calculation in the ANOVA table. If it is smaller than 0 0.05 level, the null hypothesis is rejected. This is brought to you by Pinibidrak Science.